Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I uh, got a really exciting announcement. This is actually one I've been waiting, oh my gosh, almost two or three years for right now. And that is integration of the Testo 550 and the 557 wireless manifolds into MeasureQuick. And this just opens up a whole new set of possibilities and literally makes a new tool for Testo um, because we have some things now they just didn't have before. A lot of you guys know Testo has uh, verticals. They have you know, refrigeration group, they have the smart probes group, they have the combustion group, and sometimes those verticals don't talk together. So there was like the refrigeration app, and then there's a smart probe app, and two great products, but we couldn't marry those together. And now that is literally changed now in MeasureQuick because now we can do what a lot of you guys have been wanting to do. So you notice here I've got a Testo 557. I've got it hooked up. Um, I'm going to go into my toolbox here and uh, we're going to grab the uh, toolbox just for a second. Whoops. So you can see I've got the Testo 557 now talking to Measure Quick, and I've got a slew of other Testo probes here that are tied into the application, measuring return air, supply air. But here's the interesting thing. You'll notice that I don't have any probes connected to the manifold and I'm measuring saturation temperatures. And over here, obviously, I got the probe sitting because now what we able to, we're able to do is tie in the 115i to measure uh, temperature of the liquid line and suction line. And effectively, in measure quick, we have a wireless gauge now that's measuring our superheat, our subcooling, um, and we're able to take advantage of the wireless probes. So what's really cool with this manifold is this gives us four channels. It gives us two pressures, two temperatures. So I can use the wired probes in. If you have the wired ones in, the wireless will override them. But I can now use a wireless probe, let's say for my discharge line temperature, if I want to get a discharge line temperature. So it opens up some new possibilities for that. Now the other thing it did, because I have four channels on this, is it allows me to ex expand my measurement set. Because before, remember, with the, when you direct connect, you can only have about seven to eight uh, Bluetooth probes at most. So now this giving me four channels allows me to open up and make a full measurement set with Testo. So you can see right here, I have my 605i measuring supplier, uh, supplier temperature and humidity. I have a 510i measuring my total external static pressure. I have another 605i over here. And then I have outdoor air temperature here um, measured with a 905i. Now this one's not a magnetic probe and I just want to show you this because uh, binder clips are your friend. I use binder clips on a lot of stuff, so this one I just grabbed it here. A lot of times when you have uh, plastic registers and stuff too that aren't, you know, you can't use a magnet on, you can just slip the probe through here and just literally just slide it onto your condensing unit and now you've got a effectively a uh, uh, amount now that you can get your outdoor air temperature into measure quick. So now you can see I've got all my key measurements that I need in measure quick and I'm looking at my outdoor temperatures, pressures, humidities, my, uh, all my capacity calculations. Uh, using my redfish meter, I pulled in some electrical and I've got now my SEER and EER. So again, a full, really nice probe set on this that allows us to do some really cool things. Now, another thing that's, that's interesting, and I didn't realize this at the time, but um, there's advantages and disadvantages to the way that probes connect. So one of the things that you'll notice when you connect your 557 or 550 to measure quick is the speed of the read. Typically when we beacon a signal, it's about every one second you get a new update on this. I think this comes in at four times a second or faster. So if you want to pump down a system, let's say, and check the cutout on a pressure switch with Measure Quick, you're going to get a lot better performance on the readings on there. And when you look at things like trending on here, and let me just go to trending for a second and look at uh, pressures. I'll just slow this fan down for just a minute here just so we can see the, the difference in the pressure readings on here. What you'll see is they come in, you scroll, find pressure, total capacity, temperature split, return air, suction line, superheat, subcooling, high and low pressure. You'll see that they're very granular in nature. As this is coming down, you'll see it, it's got really fine resolution. That's because it's coming in as fast as we can query the meter. So when you make a change, it's instantaneous, and you'll see it on the manifold, and you'll see it in measure quick. So again, it opens up some new possibilities. It's a, it's a great overall solution. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is cost of entry, because a lot of guys, you know, they, they still want to use a manifold, they still want to have, you know, all the wireless capabilities, but cost of entry has been a barrier. And the cool thing is that uh, Testo is really, when you look at their smart probes and you pair it with a 550, it is the lowest cost of entry right now in the market. So it's going to allow you to do things, uh, basically replace 
uh, some of the, the higher end tools out there with a really high accuracy, cost effective solution. And Testo's accuracy is really second to none. That's really what they're known for. Um, you know, I go back a long way with Testo and we always said, you know, the, the measurement's never compromised. That's the one thing that they do probably better than anybody else in the industry. And now with the 550 and a set of wireless probes, you're really at one of the lowest cost to entries of any of the products on the market today. So exciting times, uh, we'll roll this out in the next day or so and you guys can start to use it. Um, TrueTex Tools put out some kits that allow you to uh, upgrade your current Pro package. So if you want to get the wireless capability out of the 550 or 557, you can just add on a couple of line temperature probes and boom, you're ready to go. Uh, you'll just put your probes in your toolbox, map, map them to their functioning, and that is all there is to it. So really uh, exciting time for us. Uh, opens up a ton of new um, clients for us. I mean, there's probably 10, 20, 30,000 of these out there. The guys have been asking for for years to get on to MeasureQuick and, and now we're able to provide that. So thanks a lot for Testo for uh, getting us the permission to get that in there and, and I hope you guys really enjoy using it. This is Jim for MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.